Hello, hello, and welcome to the latest edition of the English Channel. My name's Tom, and I'm happy to be here, and I'm joined by Amy. Hi, everyone. I'm very happy to be here, too. Today, we're going to talk about relative clauses. That sounds very complicated, but it's not complicated at all. We're going to talk about who, which, and where. And I thought the best way to do this would be to have a small game to begin with. So are you ready? It's a quiz. Are you ready, Amy? What? Really? Yeah. I have three different pictures in my hand and I'm going to describe them to you and I want to see if you can guess who or what they are. Okay. Okay. So the first one. This is someone who has starred in a lot of big films. Which film? Uh, I'm not going to tell you. Let me give you another clue, okay? This is someone who was married to another actress. What was her name? Let me give you another clue. This is uh, someone who uh, has flown planes in his film and played volleyball. Played volleyball? In a film called Cocktail? Uh-huh. Is it Tom Cruise? It is Tom Cruise. Well done. Well done. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, 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 well. This is some. It's a place where you can sometimes get money out of. Bank. No. It's somewhere where you can buy envelopes. Post office. Very good. It's a post office. Good. And the final picture. This is something which everyone has in their kitchen. Fridge. No. This is something which you will have on your table when you eat dinner. Salt. No. This is something which you can cut your dinner with. Knife. Very good, Amy. Very good. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Amy's practiced. Now it's time for you guys to practice. Okay, so let's have a closer look at some of those uh, questions and clues which I gave Amy during the quiz. Now the first one is about Tom Cruise. Everyone knows Tom Cruise. But can you remember what I said? He is the actor who used to be married to Nicole Kidman. Okay? And then we talked about the post office. What did I say about the post office? It's the place where you can buy stamps. And a knife. What did I say about the knife? It's the thing which you can use when you're eating. Who, where, which. All of these are relative clauses. So relative clauses can be who, which, where and that. What relative clause describes people? Have you guessed? It is who? Which one describes things or animals? Which or that? And which one describes places? Where? Now Tom, you were very funny trying to do that guessing game with me. I'm going to do a guessing game with you. How many answers can you get right? I think all of them. I'm confident. <laughs> Let's see. So the first clue is it's a place where you can get your hair cut. Mm, is it the butcher? <laughs> oh. Sorry, hairdressers. Come on, next one. Number two. It's a machine which plays digital music. Ooh. Is it a record player? Sorry, MP3 or MP4. Number three. It's a place where you buy medicine. Hmm, a place where you buy medicine. I think that is a florist. Absolutely not. Drugstore. Drugstore. Number four. It's a place where you go to sunbathe. Oh, okay, I know this one. Uh, uh, it's the beach. Yeah, you're correct. Number five. 
It's an object which shows you north. Hmm. Is it a signpost? Sorry, Tom. It's a compass. Okay. Right. Now it's your go. Let's see if you can complete all of these sentences using who, which, that, or where. I'll give you a few minutes. Just press pause, and then we'll go through the answers together. Okay. Number one. Now, cinema. A cinema is a place where people watch films. Number two, camp organizers are people who organize social activities. Number four, a dictionary is a book which gives you the meaning of words, or a dictionary is a book that gives you meaning of words. Number five. Francesca is the girl who has got long hair. Okay, now let's make it a bit more difficult. See if you can join these two sentences together using a relative clause like who, which, that, or where. Again, press pause, and we'll go through the answers in a minute. Number one, a man phoned. He didn't give his name. Okay, so what's the answer to this one, Amy? The man who phoned didn't give his name. Good, good. Okay, number two. He always asks questions. They are difficult to answer. And what's the answer, Tom? He always asks questions which are difficult to answer. Or he always asks questions that are difficult to answer. And the last one, number three, cinema is a comfortable place people watch movies. Cinema is a comfortable place where people watch movies. Okay, so that wraps up the last instalment from the English Channel. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I did. And what have we learned today, Amy? Well, we've learned that I'm much better at quizzes than you, Tom. Mm -hmm. True, true. And we've also learned that relative clauses are really quite simple. You just need who, which, where, or that. Hope you enjoyed it and look forward to seeing you next time. Yeah, absolutely. Have a great day. Ciao, Ciao for now. For now.